How's it going everyone? My name is Multi Necromant and in this video guys I'll be teaching you how you can actually increase your FPS in Valorant and have way more FPS than you have right now. It doesn't matter if you have a high-end PC or low-end PC, this video will help you get the maximum frame rates from your game. If this video actually helps you guys, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel, it will help me out a lot and uh, yeah, without further ado, so let's get into it. So the first step to boost your FPS in Valorant is to actually disable game mode in Windows 10. All you have to do is type in the, in the search bar game and game mode settings will pop up. And all you have to do is to disable this thing. It will fuck up with your games. No matter what you play, League, Valorant, everything you play, it will fuck up with your games. So make sure you disable this. After that, you, you just go to the Xbox game bar and disable this as well. This is for recordings, so no one uses this anyway. So make sure you disable this because it, it uses a lot of background usage so make sure you disable this it will help you out a lot the next step is for the discord users everyone uses discord nowadays so if you want to have the maximum performance in your games discord is a big part of it because everyone uses it and it actually uses a lot of background usage so make sure you, you go into the settings of discord make sure you have turned off enable in-game overlay this actually helps you out a lot as well and after that go to appearance and scroll down and uh, on advanced tab you have hardware acceleration make sure you have this turned off as well because it actually uses your gpu and cpu to to make discord the priority and you don't really need that the, the priority is valorant so make sure you disable this as well moving forward what we're gonna do is disable some system settings all you have to do is to search in the, the search box advanced system settings this should pop up and on, under the performance tab click settings adjust for burst performance this should help you out a lot but windows might look might look some something bad but it really helps helps you out with games moving forward we go into system protection on local c disk click configure and disable system protection this is not like an antivirus or something this is just a system restore in case something bad happens to your pc it, it will go back in time and use this one as, uh, instead of the the normal windows but most people don't really use it and it it just takes up a lot of space on your pc and a, a lot of uh, usage so make sure you disable this as well and going on we are going to the, go to the remote tab and make sure you don't uh, you don't allow remote assistant connection on this computer you don't really need it no one uses it as well and it, it will boost your performance in games going on what we are going to do is to actually disable some services and make your cpu the priority of your pc so all you have to do again is type in the search box ms config this should pop up after you, you type ms config and you press enter and you're going to go to the boot tab make sure the timeout is three seconds after that you just go to advanced options make sure you have this box checked right here number of processors this is all your virtual processors well, make sure your windows uses all of them make sure you put the maximum amount you have here i have eight so that's my max amount so click ok click apply after and after this you're go just going to go to services make sure you hide all microsoft services because you don't want to fuck windows up so make sure in this in this box this is all your programs that are running in the background and you don't really need so make sure you actually uncheck everything that's bad and you don't really use so for right now i'm using nvidia some for example rockstar games i don't really need it uh riot games i don't really need this so everything in here it should be either your antivirus or your graphics card enabled that's all after this you just have to disable everything for example google services everything after this you're just going to go to the startup menu open task manager and on startup you have you have all these settings right here all this does it this program starts with your pc so all you have to do is to disable everything as you can see i have most of them disabled i keep them i keep only the, the programs that i actually need for example vanguard trade notification i don't need it this is for uh, for actually league and it actually pops up when you open up the game so you don't really need it when you start up your pc so make sure you disable that kind of programs and just keep what you really need so the next step, what we're going to do is to actually delete some temporary files that are keeping your SSD or your hard drive back from uh, from the maximum performance. So all you have to do is type in the search bar percent temp percent. After this, this thing should pop up. All you have to do is Control A, uh, so you select everything and then press delete. Everything in here should be gone. 
most of them will be gone but not all of them so all you have to do in this case you just have to do this for all current items and then press skip and everything in here would be deleted all the files that are deleted are the files that the pc doesn't need these things they they are actually for uh, for the programs to run so this is what windows needs and the others are just uh, trash the next step is actually to edit your power plants all you have to do is type in power edit po choose a power plan actually and this should pop up you might not have this ultimate performance and i'll help you with this you'll have only high performance power saver and balance all you have to do is to open up again the, the windows search make sure you type in cmd and run this as an administrator after this something will be in the description this this big thing will be in the description so make sure you copy this thing before opening cmd after you you just paste it in the cmd and just press enter and this should pop up oh, ultimate performance and you will have it in here so make sure you check this and not high performance make sure you actually uh, put the ultimate performance because it, it provides you with better fps in everything the next step is to actually disable full screen optimizations for valorant this will help you out a lot as well so make sure you do this as well search for where your riot games folder is mine is under c and just click Riot Games. After that, just click Valorant Live. And after you're here, make sure you search for that .exe, then press Enter, and you'll have these two executable files. All you have to do is just right click on each one of them. After that, you just go into Compatibility tab and disable full screen optimization. So as, as I said, you have to do this for each one. So make sure you disable the, the full screen optimization for each one. The next step is to actually download one program from the internet. You have the links down below in the description under that like button. So if you just want to download it quickly, make sure it's from the description and it's very safe. Uh, it's no harm to your PC. So make sure you download it from there. And after you download it, it's a simple installation. I, I think you will know how to install it. It's very basic. Just click next, 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 and it will be done. After this, you'll have this thing popped up. So make sure all, everything is here it's 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 put just like mine because that's the maximum performance so make sure your system power plan is to ultimate performance make sure core parking index is to 100% turbo boost index to 100% and frequency scaling the index is to 100% as well and that's just about it after that just click apply and close the program the next step is to download one other program from the internet I know you saw two links down below in the description so make sure you open the second one as well the next one is a program called CC Cleaner and what it does it actually checks for your PC health and it actually deletes the registry files that you don't need so all you have to do is just go to the registry and just scan for issues a bunch of things should pop up in here in a second or two and uh, yeah uh, after that you you'll have these things just select fix issues press no there and fix all the issues and you're done make sure you run a scan again because some some files might be left over you don't know so it's no harm done if you do it two times so yeah that's just about it do this once a week and uh, your pc will have no problems the next step is to actually put valorant as a high priority for your cpu for your pc overall so all you have to do is a link down below again in the description where you can download all these three things you have an above normal priority high priority and normal priority make sure you click on the best one the best one is actually high priority but if you experience lag make sure you put it above normal and if it's bad as well it, it, if it fucks up with your fps make sure you click the normal priority so everything goes back to normal normal and that's just about it so the next step is for nvidia users if you have an nvidia graphics card this is the settings for you if you have an amd make sure you don't follow these steps because they might not work for you if you have an amd graphics card just skip to the next part of the video because this is no good for you so if you have an nvidia make sure you open the control panel just click on the on the desktop right click and you have nvidia control panel there all you have to do is to press on manage 3d settings after it's open make sure you you go under the program settings because you want to do these settings only to valorant and no other game because these settings might fuck up with other games so make sure you just you just don't do this to valorant if you if you don't have it here in this list make sure you click on add and valorant should be around here make sure you add selected programs and after that you just follow my settings 
pause the video if you need to and just follow these settings as they are on my screen right now because it's the it's the best so far I, i've searched for in valorant so make sure you, you do these settings as well if if your game is actually still bad with these settings or it's actually worse with the settings because it, it's it, it's causable you, you can just click on this button right here and restore all the settings as they were uh, as they were normal so it's no harm done to your pc so the next setting is in the nvidia control panel as well all you have to do is to go under display change resolution and you'll have all your monitors displayed here make sure you select your principal monitor and uh, for example this is not my main monitor but uh, for the sake of this video i'll show you how to actually increase your refresh rate on your monitor because if you have like mine i have one monitor with only 60 refresh rate and i'll force it to go to 75 all you have to do is just click customize here and on the refresh rate tab just click on just actually type 75 and it will actually force it to go to 70 hertz so it's a big improvement for your pc it's not just for games it's for google chrome everything it will run smoother on your pc if you have this setting on just make sure you click customize i can't do it because i already did it make sure you click customize and after that type on the refresh rate 75 click apply click ok it will do a test for you and make sure you select the custom resolution as as it is on mine okay guys so the next step and the final step is to actually customize your game settings all you have to do is to open valorant after that just click on the on the left side corner and click on settings all you have to do is to go to video and graphics quality and i'll explain some settings in a minute or two all you have to do is copy my settings so far if you want the best performance in the game but if you have this on high you will lose around 30 fps if you have all the settings on high every setting if it's on high it will take around four to to five fps from your game so we, we have like four here it will take 20 to 30 fps maximum but if you have them on medium it will make the game way more smoother if you have them on low it will not help the game as much but the game will look bad as fuck so you don't want to you don't want to have them on low besides ua quality this this one should be on low as well after that all you have to do is to actually click off to all the settings make sure your anti-aliasing is to none anti-stropic filtering is to one and uh, improve clarity these settings it's it's actually what what it says it improves your clarity to the game so you might want to have this on it doesn't affect your fps it might take one fps or two but it's no harm done so all you have to do is just copy these settings and you're good to go guys everything is, is set go into a game a custom game see how the game works and uh, yeah that's pretty much it after all the settings were done boys just exit valorant make sure you actually restart your pc after you boot up the game again and j just jump in the game see how many fps you have if you have more then this video actually help you if you have less make sure you restore the settings i told you to do but i don't think it's the case here so uh, yeah that's basically it guys that's everything you have to do and uh, yeah if you actually like this video make sure to click the like button down below the, the subscribe button it will help me out a lot and uh, yeah if you want to see more valorant content make sure you subscribe to my channel and uh, yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow with another video And grab yourself a beverage or hop if you want to just pass to my leverage the evidence as they say is in the pudding so show me the money like my name is cuba gooding it ain't fool's gold it's gold fool can't stop won't stop keeping it old school